Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Paris episode with IPAC on Forza Horizon 3, going for perhaps the luckiest of aerial overtakes, manages to bounce off the roof of a Veneno, goes for a barrel roll before landing on the inside and getting the pass complete. I don't think you could manage to do that one if you tried. Doge the Avenger comes across a very curious thing on Horizon 3. You might have just caught a glimpse of it at the very start of this clip. He turns around to go and investigate, and, well, apparently this particular roundabout is haunted by the ghosts of many pedestrians that vanish if you get a little bit too close to them. I, I have seen many weird glitches on Horizon 3. That might be the creepiest. <laughs> That's right at the very top there. Thomas675 on Horizon 3 is trying to jump into the back of a truck. And it's not going particularly well for the Fiesta. I approve of the colour scheme, uh, though. As he goes to reset the car, things get even more unhappy with the Fiesta as it slips down in between both of the trucks. Can spin the wheel, still not really doing anything. <laughs> goes to reset the car again. This time, by going through the pause menu, has launched said Ford through the air. Many twists. Many twists, eventually comes crashing back down to, well, to work, to the roof of the car park. And it's still not done rolling yet, as it will tumble all the way off of the car park before eventually landing on its wheels. Well done, Fiesta. That's uh, <laughs> certainly, certainly one way to uh, do things. Sir Kitty McMittens, that's a fantastic name, on GTA 5 is messing about doing some wheelies with his bike, doesn't quite see the car in time, and, well, bye-bye to the motorbike that flies all the way to land perfectly in one of the ponds in the golf course. Good, good shot, good shot with the bike. M2 of the 7 on a drive club, bounces across a curb, and gets a little bit airborne, and then carried before his hurricane gets dumped back onto the ground, amazingly able to carry on, having only lost a small amount of time. We are on next to a Project Cars with a Sauber C9. A little bit too much power coming out of the corner. The car will go for a spin, but there's the tyre bundle getting hungry. That's the bigger issue. The engine blowing again. Not, not a concern compared to the car very, 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 very wedged in the floor and tyre bundle. Yeah, that's uh, not so good. Cool Kid Tulol on a dirt four is uh, doing a joker for his rallycross race when the rest of the field has a peculiar moment for Alancia Delta. Can't quite figure out. It looks like a wheel fell off something, but I can't figure out where the wheel came from. As you see, the two leaders come through. Something appears. It's almost like the wheel appears underneath the Delta as it goes for a tumble through the air. The Metro's are getting caught up behind it. It's, yeah... The Lancia wanted to go for a roll, and it did so in really rather spectacular fashion. Likewise, enlisted Aura 23 on a Watchdog's spectacular, spectacular moment, for sure. Messing about on a, a pier with a fire truck and quite a lot of police cars by the looks of things. The fire truck, first of all, flips the police car up before volleying it straight into the water. Who knew? Who knew fire trucks were so good at football with uh, police cars? A set of Corsa and a Mini running a little bit too deep into a corner. The thing is, that's fair enough. But then the Mini physics are not particularly liking any of this. And the Mini will continue to roll and continue to roll. And another one for good luck. Maybe at some point we will end up... Nope, no, nope, we're still going. We're still... <laughs> <laughs> this is a new way. I approve of this way to traverse a uh, road. I'm not sure it's the most efficient way. The mini eventually does uh, come back down. Shelby 427 on a beam NG drive has got a very, very powerful vehicle. The thing is, the wheel axles aren't quite strong enough for said powerful vehicle. As you can see, it is... Uh, rather, rather wobbly. And while celebratory donuts and messing around donuts are all very well and good, not quite so good when said wheel goes pinging off. Yeah, may maybe it's just a little bit too much. I just the wheel is now bouncing around the area. Yeah, a li little bit too much power in <laughs> that particular car. TR King Copa on Neve Speed Underground 2 is partaking in a drift race. The AIs are trying to, well, fit three cars into not very much road. He's not really going particularly well. Turns out, though, the Peugeot has a, a trick up its sleeve as it 
pings everyone around. It's like a micro machine's power up with boxing gloves around. The car just launches, launches the Mustang and the Audi around the area. Don't mess with little Peugeots. Really don't mess with little Peugeots. On to track Mania Turbo with a slightly mistimed jump, a boing off of the water and caught by the trees. I think that is, uh, that's the player very much out. It's a great catch by the tree. I've seen cars bounce off the water. I think it's how the water physics tends to work. I've not seen cars get caught in the trees before. And finally, Ford Frost 28 on NASCAR 2003 with a huge wreck. And uh, Hamlin is going to be very, very sick, I would imagine. <laughs> One as the car continues to spin and tumble and twist and roll around a lot upside down. It's a big crash. It's a very, very big crash indeed. Things went wrong on the bottom as the car, everything just fires up into the wall. Uh, Larson doesn't have a particularly good day with his car being eaten by a wall, but I think that's preferable to the spin dryer that was going on uh, <laughs> went down on the track. Gotta love NASCAR 2003 crash. There are some massive, massive shunts on this uh, on this game. That, though, is going to be it for this episode. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There'll be a link in the description. Very top of the page is the Fail Race Clip Submission section, and in there you can find all of the rules and how to submit them. However, that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.